Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall M. Roof here, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana, and I am currently sitting in the home office in Terrysville, Indiana, USA. <laughs> Can I get in the USA? Of course. Um, this is a brief overview of the sermon that Ron gave on 10 11, 2020 AD, or October the 11th, uh, 2020 AD, and it's about practicing tolerance. First of all, definition. We have Again, yeah, this is a brief overview. We have race pride. In other words, you know, white, black, red, and yellow. There's face pride, which is appearance. Place pride, for example, people who are like, ooh, I came from there, or I live there, or, you know, I work there, etc., etc. And then grace pride, you're like, oh, I'm a part of this religion, or, you know, so, uh, etc. So there's different kinds of pride. Uh, the demonstration. So, uh, let's go down to number three. Again, this is just going to be a brief overview. Um, it's kind of hard to take it out uh, without going, uh, seeing the sermon. Um, so let's just go to number three. The defeat of intolerance. Okay, so we know in part one we talked about the different kinds of pride, the definition. We have race pride, face pride, place pride, and grace pride. Different kinds of pride. So how do, do, do we defeat intolerance? And here's the, here's the important part. Compare yourself more with Jesus and less with others. So in other words, when you compare yourself, don't worry about what, how other people are doing. Compare yourself to Jesus. Because Jesus is perfect. Always has been. Always will be. So compare yourself with Jesus and not other people. Second part. Stand for your convictions with a gentle spirit. Gentleness and respect. So in other words, when you stand up for your Christian values and what you believe, and how you're supposed to, not, you know, the fruits of the Spirit, not only what you're supposed to stand up for, but how you're supposed to do it. Um, do it with a gentle spirit. Show gentleness and respect. Because it doesn't matter, even though we have the truth on our side, if you don't show it with a gentle spirit uh, and respect, people aren't going to really care, uh, for the most part. Uh, reach out in friendship to the person with whom you disagree or are different than, than are different than you. So in other words, if, if somebody's different, you know, they're a different skin color or a different background or different whatever, or you simply, maybe you're the same skin color and you're just from the same area or you look similar or, you know, but basically somebody you disagree with, I mean, it can be for whatever reason. So whether they're physically different or you disagree on certain things, reach out in friendship. Secondly, listen patiently to those who are different from you or who are disagree with you. Uh, listen patient. That's very important. Listen to those who are different. Because unless you listen to them, they're more than likely not going to listen to you. Okay? So, listen. Okay. And the last thing about practicing tolerance. This is very important. Practice seeing people the way God sees them. Okay? Practicing people the way God sees them. Not necessarily the way you see them or other people see them, you know. Don't see them as, ooh, they're white or black or Asian or whatever. See them as in the way God sees them. As people who he loves and wants to spend eternity with him in heaven. Okay? And stop, you know, don't look at them as, you know, they're this race or they're this skin color or whatever, or they're from this place, or they do that, or what I'm saying, look at them in a way that, the way God does, with love and compassion. So, um, that's basically it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me just brief, briefly review this again before I say <laughs> goodbye. Uh, the definition is, there's race pride, face pride, place pride, and grace pride. So it's a matter of your ethnicity, or your appearance, or where you're from, or where you work, etc., uh, or your different religion. So that's the some of the problems. But how do we over? Uh, how do we defeat it? Because comparing ourselves, not like it with other people, but compared to Jesus, stand for your convictions and do it with a gentle spirit and show respect. Reach out in friendship to the person you disagree with or are different from. Listen patiently 
to those who are different from you. And remember to practice seeing people the way God sees them and not the way other people do. So, uh, as a Christian, I hope this helps you out and will help you in spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. So until next time, I'm Randall Amruth, saying thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless you.